The title of our project is, a public transport fare monitoring system using Arduino and fingerprint sensor. There are many challenges that are faced by passengers while using public transportation. The main problem while using public transportation is the fare rate. So, in this project we have designed such a system where passenger themselves can monitor the fare, based upon the distance traveled by them. The main objectives of this project are, to facilitate passenger know their exact fare, according to the distance traveled by them. To facilitate the owner of the bus to know the exact data about the number of passenger traveled and total collected amount. This is the block diagram of our project. We have used two Arduino in our project due to limited pin counts. Two Arduino communicates each other through I2C communication protocol. Our main power supply is of 12V DC so, we have used buck converter to step down the voltage to 5V. This 5V is feed to our microcontroller and all the sensor. Our first Arduino take real-time date and time from tiny RTC. Fingerprint sensor is also connected to Arduino Nano where the fingerprint sensor sends finger images to Arduino. Push button is pressed only for the discounted passenger like student and old aged person, which is also set as input to Arduino Nano. Buzzer and TFT display is set as output of our first Arduino. We have used Atmega chip as our another microcontroller which continuously monitor the input from the all effect sensor. SD card module is connected to same controller which saves all the data of the system for the future analysis. This is the flow chart of our system. The program flow is clearly explained in the following blog.
This is the circuit diagram of our project. All the connections should be made according to this diagram. The red LED is connected to D5 of the Arduino Nano. The green LED is connected to D7 of the Arduino Nano. Buzzer is connected to analog pin 3 of Arduino Nano. The fingerprint sensor communicates with the Arduino using UART communication protocol and is connected to A1 and A2 pin of Arduino Nano. The TFT display uses SPI communication protocol to communicate with Arduino and is connected to D10, D11, D12 and D13 digital pins of Arduino Nano. The two different buttons are connected to D4 and D2 pin of Arduino. The RTC module uses I2C communication protocol to communicate with Arduino and is connected to A4 and A5 pins of Arduino Nano. Hall effect sensor is connected to a open of at mega chip. SD card module used SPI communication protocol to communicate with at mega chip which is connected to D10, D11, D12, D13 pin of at mega chip. The two Arduino communicates with each other using I2C communication. This is the final overview of our circuit diagram. This is Outlook of Fair Monitoring System, where it displays the total distance covered and total money to be paid in the screen. To use this device passenger should place their finger in fingerprint sensor during the entry after reaching the destination repress the sensor and it displays the total distance traveled by you along with the amount to be paid you can press the discount button if you are student or old aged person. This is the outlook seen after switching on the device. Press your finger in the fingerprint sensor and you will get passenger unique ID, that is one in this case. Now we are assuming that vehicle is moving and we are receiving pulse in the hall effect sensor. Here, one pulse represents one kilometer. In this case, total pulse provided as 5, representing 5 kilometers. After reaching the destination place your same finger in the fingerprint sensor. The display is showing the finger with unique ID 1 as going to exit. The total distance traveled as 5 kilometers and total money without card is 16 rupees. Again press the another finger representing new passenger and the unique ID provided is 2 in this case. Here we provide 10 pulse representing 10 kilometers. After placing the same finger in the fingerprint sensor we get to know that passenger 2 is going to exit with total distance of 10 km and total amount of 21 without card. Let us place the discount button in this case so that total amount to be paid will be 12 rupees. Now when we press the total button we can view the details in our case total users are 2. One was normal user and remaining one was discounted user total money received was 12 rupees plus 16 rupees that is 28 rupees.
when we press the reset button all the data will be sent to SD card module and stored.